Explore team, and today we are going to be doing another demo. We are going to be looking at the Starry Analytic Occultation Light Curves tool um, here on Emac. So we are going to go ahead and hit download, and we are going to click on installation. And as you can see here, all we need to do is simply pip install Starry um, into our terminal to get Starry up and going. So let's go ahead and open up a new terminal, and we are going to pip install Starry. Boom, simple. So before we continue, you're going to want to make sure that you have all the uh, packages Starry needs. So you can go ahead and click on about. That'll take you to the Starry GitHub page. Um, you can scroll down to requirements.txt and you're going to want to make sure you have all of these packages um, on your machine. Uh, you can pip install all of these. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Now, on um, the Starry dev site, um, you can click on examples and tutorials, and you can and there's a plethora of examples that you can go through. Um, we're just starting off, so we're gonna go ahead and just click on the basics. So what Starry does is it uses spherical harmonics to get a surface map of. Um, you can create your own surface map, or you can load in surface maps or images. Uh, to create service maps. So a couple of the cool things that Starry can do, and we won't go through all of them. We're just gonna do uh, we're just gonna do enough to get you guys started. But I wanted you guys to see um, all these cool things that Starry can do. So Starry can um, you can load in uh, your map images. You can compute in intensity. You can compute face curves, um, as well as getting transits and occultations and um, you can also compute limb darkening. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into um, Jupyter Notebook and we're just gonna run through the very, very beginning of the basics example to make sure that you um, can get Starry up and running. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and import Starry. You're gonna set its lazy configuration to false. Um, this essentially just optimizes how Starry works and we're gonna go ahead and create our own surface map. So we're gonna set map equal to starry.map and we're gonna set y degrees to five. Um, so as you can see here, uh, map object takes a few arguments, the most important of which is y degree, the highest degree of the spherical harmonics used to describe the map. So here is our map, very plain. Um, now we're going to go ahead and evaluate our map. So we're going to set the map intensity at 0, 0. Um, and we're going to make this map into a 3D spherical object. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and do pi squared times the map intensity. Um, this will create our surface map. Um, here is an example of what our surface map looks like. We wanted to set the coefficients of 5 and negative 3 to 2. And you can go ahead and mess around with different coefficients. And as you can see, that gives you a different surface map. Now, if we want to see our surface map in three dimensions or as a movie, you're just going to go ahead and set theta equal to mp.lint space. Um, so from 0 to 360 degrees. Um, and you're going to set map.show theta equal to theta. Now we have our uh, 3D object um, in a movie. We can also project this surface map in a uh, two dimensional plot um, by setting projection equal to rec. Um, and yeah, it looks like a kind of like a scary little alien Ninja Turtle thing. Um, last thing I'm going to show y'all is how you can load in your, some images. Um, so if you're following the tutorial, you are going to make sure that you have this on your machine. So um, the images are downloaded are from Heelpix. Um, and to get these images, you're going to need Heelpy. So you can just go ahead and pip install Heelpy. Uh, make sure you have that on your machine. I already do. That's why it went by so quickly. Now you can. Uh, now you have access to all these different surface maps that are preloaded in. 
Um, so here's a surface map of Jupiter, but if we want to, we can change that to the moon by simply typing in moon. Um, and let's hope this thing doesn't make me look silly. And any time now, it'll show up. So there it is. There's the moon. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I just went ahead and followed the tutorial, um, and I was able to get all these cool different plots. Um, we have face curves, um, and yeah. So again, you can simply follow the tutorial hosted on the uh, Starry Death site. Um, as you can see, there is a plethora of different things that you can do with Starry. It's a pretty big tool. It's a pretty complicated tool. And in the future, we will hope to host Starry on the Emac site to make it even easier to use. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, you can hit us up on Twitter at Exoplanet Models. Um, or you can go onto the Emac page and... Um, and check out the discussions tab um, and here you can see all the different kinds of bugs and troubleshooting people have done to uh, to get started to work so again thank you guys for uh, for watching and have a great scientific day bye bye